giant tuna are among the most powerful, fastest, and most valuable fish in the ocean. With speeds reaching over 40 miles per hour and weights that can top 1,500 pounds, these fish are not just a marvel of nature. They're the centerpiece of a multi-billion dollar industry. From the moment they're caught to the moment they hit your plate, there's an entire world behind these massive fish. It's a world of high-tech fishing methods, deep-sea challenges, and even underwater cameras all working together to bring tuna to your sushi rolls or grilled steaks. But the story doesn't stop there. The demand for tuna has skyrocketed and with it the pressure on both wild populations and farming methods. Catching and farming tuna is no easy feat. It's a delicate balance between tradition, innovation, and sustainability. So what really goes into the journey of the giant tuna? Let's explore. Part 1. Set the Stage – Why Tuna is So Valuable Giant tuna, especially bluefin tuna, are some of the most valuable fish in the world. These fish aren't just big, they're fast, powerful, and prized for their rich, fatty meat. Bluefin tuna can grow to over 1,500 pounds and swim at speeds exceeding 40 miles per hour, making them both an incredible natural marvel and a highly sought-after commodity. The demand for tuna, particularly in places like Japan, has driven its value sky-high. The fatty belly cuts of tuna, known as otoro, are considered a delicacy and are often the highlight of sushi and sashimi dishes. Because of their rich flavor and texture, these parts of the tuna can fetch astronomical prices at auctions. But with such high demand comes a challenge – overfishing. As the world's tuna population dwindles, catching these massive fish becomes harder, making them even more expensive. The value of tuna is not just about size or speed, it's about rarity and the delicacy that only a few can afford. Part 2. Catching Giant Tuna – Traditional and Modern Methods Catching giant tuna is no easy task. It requires a mix of traditional techniques and modern technology. One of the oldest methods is called trolling. In this technique, fishermen drag baited hooks behind a boat at specific depths where tuna are known to hunt for food. It's a patient process as the fishermen wait for a tuna to bite, and when it does, the real battle begins. Reeling in a giant tuna can take hours as the fish uses its strength and speed to make powerful runs. Fishermen need to adjust their tactics constantly to avoid losing the fish. Another traditional method is purse signing where huge nets are used to surround a school of tuna. Once the nets are in place, they're pulled up, trapping the fish inside, which are then brought aboard the boat. On the modern side, sonar technology and underwater cameras have revolutionized tuna fishing. These tools help locate tuna schools quickly, saving time and effort. Once found, fishermen can drop bait and wait for the tuna to strike. This combination of old and new makes tuna fishing both an art and a science. Part 3. The Role of Tuna Farms in Sustainable Fishing As wild tuna populations face the pressures of overfishing, tuna farming has become a crucial part of the fishing industry. Tuna farms provide a way to meet the growing global demand for tuna without depleting wild populations. However, farming giant tuna isn't as simple as it sounds. These fish are highly migratory and need a large area to swim freely which is why tuna farms operate in big, open-water pens. These pens are usually located in clean, moving ocean water to mimic the natural environment of the tuna. Tuna farming offers a solution to the overfishing problem, but it comes with its own challenges. The fish need special care and attention to ensure they stay healthy. The pens must be big enough for the tuna to move around or they risk becoming stressed, which can lead to disease. Farmers use technology to monitor water quality, fish health, and feeding, helping to create a balanced, sustainable environment. By farming tuna, the industry can provide a steady supply of these valuable fish while protecting the wild populations. Part 4. Feeding and Maintaining Tuna Farms Feeding and maintaining tuna farms is a delicate process. Unlike many other farmed fish, tuna have high metabolic rates, meaning they burn through energy quickly and need a protein-rich diet. Their diet typically includes fish like sardines and mackerel, and sometimes even live fish, which closely resemble the food they would hunt in the wild. 
Some farms also use specially formulated pellets to meet the nutritional needs of the tuna. The feeding process is carefully monitored to ensure the tuna grow at the right pace. Overfeeding can lead to poor water quality, which could stress the fish and even cause diseases to spread more easily. Farmers must also ensure that food is delivered at the right times, which is why some farms use automated feeding systems. These systems ensure that each tuna gets the right amount of food without wasting any, helping to keep the water clean and the fish healthy. Part 5. Harvesting and Processing Giant Tuna Harvesting giant tuna is a careful and precise process, especially considering the size and value of these fish. Once the tuna have reached market size, it's time to carefully remove them from the farms. Because of their large size, special boats or harvesting equipment are used to lift the tuna out of the water. Handling the fish gently is crucial to avoid damaging the meat, which is highly prized. Once the tuna are safely brought to shore, they are quickly processed. To preserve the freshness of the fish, it's important to handle them swiftly. The fish are usually iced immediately to keep their meat in top condition. After being slaughtered, the tuna are cut into sections with the most valuable parts, like the fatty belly cuts, known as otoro, being separated for sale. These premium cuts are considered a delicacy and can fetch extremely high prices in sushi markets around the world. Part 6. The Environmental Impact of Tuna Farming While tuna farming helps reduce pressure on wild populations, it also has some environmental challenges. One of the biggest concerns is the food used to feed the farmed tuna. Most tuna farms rely on fish meal and live fish like sardines or mackerel to meet the tuna's nutritional needs. This practice can put additional pressure on wild fish populations, especially small fish caught specifically for this purpose. As a result, overfishing of these smaller fish can affect the entire marine ecosystem. Another concern is the spread of diseases in farmed tuna. Since tuna are often kept in densely packed pens, diseases can spread quickly, potentially affecting both farmed and wild fish populations nearby. This is why tuna farmers must be vigilant about monitoring the health of the fish and maintaining the water quality. Despite these challenges, sustainable practices are emerging. Many tuna farms are now exploring alternative feed sources, such as algae-based or plant-based proteins, to reduce the environmental impact. Advances in farming technology are also helping to improve water quality and fish health, making tuna farming more sustainable. Part 7. The Global Tuna Industry and Market Demand The global tuna industry is massive, with the demand for tuna, especially bluefin, increasing rapidly in recent years. The popularity of sushi and sashimi in places like Japan has driven this demand, where tuna is not just a food, but a cultural staple. At auction, some bluefin tuna can sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars, particularly the rare, high-quality fish that offer the prized otero belly cuts. This has turned tuna into one of the most expensive seafood commodities in the world. The growing demand has put immense pressure on both wild and farmed tuna. With wild populations struggling due to overfishing, tuna farming has become a key solution to meet the need. However, farming also faces challenges like maintaining sustainable practices and avoiding environmental damage. Climate change, too, has an impact on tuna migration patterns, which can affect both fishing and farming operations. If you found the world of giant tuna fishing and farming as fascinating as I did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the industries that shape our world. Got any thoughts or questions about tuna or sustainable fishing? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.